Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited in this video. We're gonna show you this super awesome truck behind us with the big, what size was that? 110 sleeper? inch double eagle sleeper. 110 inch double eagle sleeper. This thing has everything you could ever want while you're on the road inside. It is super nice. The whole truck is super nice. And uh, Arlen's been nice enough to, uh, to agree to let us walk around and like, check out his uh, home away from home. Yeah, well, that's what it is. Yep. Well, we'll get the camera flipped around real quick and uh, we'll just go right into it and start showing the guy, everybody the truck. Awesome. Sounds All right, good. let's do it. All right, so here is the truck. This is a 2023-89 with a, uh, what size sleeper is this? 110-inch uh, double eagle sleeper. That thing's cool. The, uh, <laughs> The, the driving deal with this and going down the road, how how many days are you on the road generally with this thing? Uh, and We'll leave whether we're going a week, two, three, by about three weeks, my wife's telling me it's time to go home because she's normally always with me. And, yep. But, you know, most time it'll be about a two week deal on the average, I guess. Okay. That's pretty nice. I mean, to be able to, I mean, to be able to do the job, right? And then go and go around the country and and still you and your wife enjoying it yep. and having the space there helps a lot take your wife along this is the way to do it yeah happy wife happy life <laughs> exactly and so the truck this truck is what's the wheelbase on this thing 318 318 and what engines in here uh 605 cummins okay it's still a full mission truck and is it a is it an 18 speed yes sir they're all 18 speeds i mean it's just the only way to go it's not an automatic. It's not an automatic. <laughs> this is such a gorgeous truck and the trailer matching. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful ride. How many miles are on this thing? Uh, the truck's got like 227 or 8,000 on it now. Okay. The trailer is a 2013, so there's probably a million miles on it. On, on the trailer. Thing. And then you were, you were, we were talking earlier, but this sleeper, so you ordered the truck. Did it come as a day cab then? Yes, and, and I had this sleeper on my last truck. I had it built new in 08, and then when I bought the new truck, I took it off the other truck and put it on, put this, on this truck myself. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So you, you've, uh, you've had this sleeper for a while. When y'all put the, the, the sleeper back on here, did you do any paint work or anything? Yeah, it, it got repainted. All the paint's been sanded and buffed and, and smoothed out. Uh, when I did the truck, the cab interior stuff got gutted because I still had leftover material from when I built the sleeper and mm -hmm. leftover carpet. So the cab interior now completely matches, matches the sleeper. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's the next thing too. I want to I want to definitely go inside and check this thing out. We've done a lot of videos on trucks and stuff, but I've never I've never been able to, to ever put together a video and show any of our viewers the inside of one of these bigger sleepers. Yep. And um, of anyone to ever show. This is one of the nicest ones um, I've ever been around, uh, being at shows and stuff like that. And the truck just looks awesome. So pretty excited to be able to do this today with this thing. What, um, on the trailer, what is the, what's the length on it? Uh, 49 foot. It's 49? Um, when building the curtain in order to still have 48 feet inside, that extra foot, because all your equipment's up in the bulkhead. Yep. So you still have 48 foot of floor space. To... And it's pretty nice. I was noticing you got a door on this, so you can go... If you're just even just checking a load or anything else, you can go right up the steps. It's a mess inside. It's a mess inside. Yeah, there's a door on the front, and then I have my my grill was actually mounted on the front door of the trailer. So okay, I can walk. That out, is awesome. I can walk out the back door of the sleeper, and my feet don't have to hit the ground. To so you out. you're grilling out. Yeah, that is the coolest thing ever. Out here on the back deck, plate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. That is that is like maybe my favorite thing now. Yeah, that, that was an idea I stole from a friend. It wasn't mine. Yep. But it's perfect because if you're hanging out, you've been on the road, and you want to cook dinner. Yep. Uh, you can have a whole grill out just like you're at home. So, so this is a hundred and 110 inch sleeper. Yep. When I was building it, it started out at like a 96 inch sleeper, and then it kind of grew a little bit because there was more stuff we wanted, and we were running out of space. And hard to believe you keep getting bigger and you still run out of space. And you run out of space with it. I mean, it's just like a camper inside. Yeah, can we go in? Yeah. Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna take my shoes off. It, uh, oh wow, the the bed is actually up in this wall. Okay, it, you know, unbuckle this, move just them three pillows over there, and yep. it folds down, folds straight down. Yeah, and then it's down, it's 48 inches wide, it's clear out to here when it's down. Okay, so when my wife with me all the time, there's room for both of us. Yep, you know, there's plenty of room. Uh, there's a shower and toilet, uh, 
when the bed's down, there's a bifold in the door so that you can still get into the shower. Yep. And uh, and the bed's down, you can still get to the bathroom. There's still room to get in. Yep. That is awesome. How much water does this thing hold? Uh, in between here, there's a 40 gallon water tank and yep. a six gallon water heater. So there's a total of like 46 gallons. 46 gallons. Yep. And like when, like when you're on the road and you're, and you're, you're traveling and working and whatnot, is it, is it hard to find a place to get water to, to fill this thing up with or anything like that? It, it gets to be like in the winter time, they shut somebody, the water spigots off at places. Yep. Uh, so I, I try to stay in warm weather areas in the winter time and <laughs> you know, I, I've got my spots, I guess, where I no, I'm still going to get water. So. That's cool. Yep. But yeah, there's a... Uh, I like it. So you got you got storage compartments yep. all, all throughout the whole deal. Yep. And uh, I mean, there's plenty of room. You can sit here. You can have breakfast. You right. can, uh, in the evening, you can you can do... My wife cooks in here just like when we're at home. So, right. So, I mean, we eat good better than eating out of the truck stop. And yep. Don't waste any time doing it. So, yep. yeah, there's a single burner stove plate. It's a microwave convection air fryer oven, so it does... Kind of everything you want. Uh, the TV is literally just a cupboard door. There's storage behind it. Mm -hmm. The refrigerator, freezer, her little crock pot down in the corner. That's awesome. Yep. And the fridge is pretty big. Oh, it's, it's what, seven point something cubic foot refrigerator so freezer. You, so yeah, you can keep plenty of food in yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, we we have uh, just got another quarter of beef in the freezer at home. So we leave home, it gets stocked up with, you know, hamburger, steaks, everything yep. in the freezer before we leave with our meat that's and at you, home. So. You go out in the back deck and yeah, yeah. grill out and yep, get done for the day, fire the grill up. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, it definitely would make this really comfortable, uh, you know, just especially being three weeks on the road. Uh, having this kind of space is really nice. Yes, it is. And the, so the inside, I mean, this thing looks awesome. I, I'm noticing that like all the wood, all the wood in here like is not was, the factory wood. No, that's from Carl at Rockwood Products. Yep. Uh, Carl and I have been friends for 20 plus years and he always wanted to make a dash for my old truck and I just never did it. So when I build a new one, it's like, yeah, we'll let Carl make one. We'll go ahead and do it. That looks amazing. So, I love the so tan in here. a little bit different. The tan and all the, the it looks. So, it, so like this bunk curtain and this boot cover mm -hmm. are actually in the other truck. So you can see the material is the exact same. Exact same. same. I still had leftover material to do the cab with. So, I love it because it, it it has the it has a little older feel to it inside for sure, and the outside is like very nostalgic kind of yep. feeling. But it's a new truck. Yep. It's super nice. Still the carpet on the floor, which carpet ain't so bad when you have a central vacuum. It's central vac. Look at so that. The hose is up in one of the cupboards, so yep. it's it's no big deal to vacuum in here. You, you have. clean it out. Yeah. And so on the central vac, where does all the where does all the stuff go? It's 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 in a container down here. here, and you pull that seat off and pull the lid and the bag out and throw it in the dumpster, and you're done. Yep, real simple. Dang, a little that's the way to do it. Central vac. Yep. Yeah, that's super cool. Yep. What's your favorite part about this whole this whole deal, like truck trailer thing? Oh, the, this sleeper having a shower, your own toilet. Yeah. Uh, the coffee pot every morning. First thing you do is make your own coffee. You don't have to. Worry about that. No, trucking on the road like this, if you can handle the weight, because it is heavier. It's yep. probably twenty-five to 3,000 pounds heavier than a normal truck. So yep. it does add up. Yeah, I mean, I guess that hurts a little bit for sure on the on the work side of hauling stuff. Right. But I I don't know. To me, it sort of makes up for how long you're able to stay out on the road comfortably right. and with your wife. Right. Yep. So it makes everything way more enjoyable. Way more. way more, yep. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. When we built this, our son, who is now in his 30s, but... When we built this back in 08 and put it on the other truck was a year he graduated high school and he was our youngest. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they're not going to mess us out on the road and we might as well go do this together instead of her being alone at home and me being alone with the road after. And she enjoys it as much as yeah, you do. Yeah, we didn't know whether it would last a year or 20. So when we did it <laughs> and everybody's like, well, what are you going to do with that big truck if she don't enjoy it? It's like, well, I'm going to be really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you're at truck stops, fuel it up and stuff, do you get asked a lot? Do you get, do you get, do people ask you a lot about the setup all when all you're the all the time? They're always curious. Yep. Yep. You well, don't they're, see they're, a lot of them on the road. You know, it's always, well, what all do you have in there? You know, is there just a king size bed in there? You know, what, what do you have? You know, and then the next question is how heavy is it? They're always curious about that. Yep. So I don't know with the machines and different stuff we haul weight 
a lot of times ain't, it ain't an issue. I probably spend 30% of my time with the front axle on my trailer in the air that I'm only going down the road on four anyway. Cause right. So much of the stuff ain't heavy. It's just a lot of specialty stuff, that, yep. and that's yep. where you're, yep. Yep, where the curtain comes in for high dollar machines that you don't want to tarp banging and beating on going down the road, and yep. That's pretty cool. Yep. So, well, awesome. Let's, yeah. uh, let's top out of here, look at the outside a little bit, and uh, I really appreciate you letting us look through this thing. I, you know, I'm, uh, we, in a sleeper like this, you just try to use every inch of space you can. It's like even this little pantry. Yep. Just that you use all the space. In the shower, there's a cabinet up there in the back that has all your shower stuff in it. Mm-hmm that it's just right there it's handy you know people are like do you ever go in and shower in the truck stop it's like no don't need to it's more of a hassle to take our stuff out of here to go in than it is just to use what just we to have. use what you have so yeah and since 08 i think i've taken a shower in the truck stop once and it was like 25 below and i couldn't find water so <laughs> yeah all right so back out of the truck you'll be able to stand back now a little bit more and see the uh see the whole the whole unit all as one um kind of sitting here talking about this so on your truck we you can't see a def tank and he's got the def tank that is hidden right back here kind of like how we did on chad berry's truck and um even like on bottomley's build and stuff uh it's hidden in a split tank back there um it it, it helps keep that old school look to the truck looking right yep and it, explain to me here what we did on the doors or what you did on the doors because um, this is this is something some people may not exactly notice right away right. normal 389 the door sill it it slopes what clear down to about here yep. at an angle and didn't realize i had ocd when i started doing this and i drove a 359 for 27 years when i decided to build this truck uh that this sleeper was on too uh but so I straightened the doors out because I did. It just drove me nuts. That angle didn't line up with anything. So, an 05 door skin uh, had the same door handle in it. So yep. we bought top sills, 05 door panels, and we reskinned the door. Uh, now you've got like it going straight side, across. And I, and two, I like the I like the grab handles. Yeah. Uh, I think it I think it it looks nice on there and it's functional. So yeah, it was, as it, it was a factory day cab with no exhaust on it. There was a rear window in the back of the cab. So when I brought the truck home, I had to cut that panel out of the cab and all that stuff. Yep. People were like, man, don't that bother you to be taking a cutting wheel to a brand new truck? It's like, no, that's the fun that's stuff the fun actually. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, when you get to just go ahead and cut it out. <laughs> it's yeah. a, it's a, we, we've done so much of that. The first few times you do it, you're, you free, you get, you're yeah. a little freaked out and you're like, ah, I hope I don't mess this up. But then after you do it once or twice, you're like, ah, we're just cutting holes in trucks, it's fine. I started doing stuff like that years ago because I couldn't afford to pay somebody to do it. So yep. I just started doing it myself and my son's picked up the same thing. We just do it at home in our shop and just cut into them, do what you want. It's, it's what makes it fun. I mean, you're able to be proud of something yeah. uh, like this because you're, you, you've you done so much work yourself, you know? So this truck is actually still, it's factory air ride front and back. Uh, there's not a aftermarket air ride under it, but the cap and hood have been body dropped an inch and a half. Yep. Because, and then I still actually had to raise the sleeper up three quarters of an inch from where it was at on a 359, that even after dropping this an inch and a half, it's still, still three it. quarters of an inch higher than where a 359 cab sits on the frame. So then you're trying to get that up yep, and lower the truck down. Get, it, get the look back where I wanted it to be. So. Nice. Well, my main reason for it was to get my sleeper set and where it was at on the other truck. And mm -hmm. Just get the line where I wanted it to be. So, yeah. It looks awesome. And then you did the, the door skins. How much work was it to actually do the doors like this? Well, as long as you got the right rivet gun for putting these rivets in. The hooks, yeah, yeah. They're, they're fun. Uh, which friend of mine, Barry Myers, did the doors and paintwork, repainted the sleeper and, mm -hmm. and stuff for me. So, so this is like a driver's side door panel to get rid of the window and yep. stuff in there. And with redoing the interior and stuff too, now you, you make know, nice you never clean. Knew there was a window there. There, yep. And, and and I guess you were able. Oh, I can see now. So right. you're you're able to keep the the factory glass, and then yep. this will give you an idea of kind of like what Where the slope the would have been. Sill line was. Yep. Yep. And I just put a piece of vinyl in there just to cover it up a little bit. On my son's truck, what he did is he did the doors too, but he changed everything on the top, moved switches and all that all stuff. All that stuff. Is and then look. so it's got the older door panel yep. all the way through. Yep. But that works totally fine. Yep. I actually kind of like that. That's uh, Matt Knaggy from Pennsylvania was one of the first guys I knew of to do something like this. And Matt did that with a little piece of vinyl. So I stole the idea from him. Yep. So, yep. That's awesome. Yep. I love this thing. This is a super cool truck.
So it's, you know, even with me doing everything myself to move the seats back, it all got hit underneath the carpet with putting the carpet in it that, you know, it was just kind of easy to do with doing all that. So it just looks clean in there without mm -hmm. the deals to move the seat back and stuff. So, yep. How long have you been into you, you haul uh, for a long haul? Yeah, been leased to them guys about 15 years now. And you like working there? Yeah, it's worked out good for me. Yep. yep. yep real We've good. done some trucks for other people who work for long haul. Okay. And I've never heard anybody ever tell me a bad thing yeah, about the company. I mean, some people it just don't work for, but like I said, it's been a great job for me. Good people. Yeah. Uh, you're as independent as you can be there. They don't, if you tell them you're going home for a week, there's like, all right, let me know when you want to go back to work. Yeah. Find you something. That's, that's nice. the way it works. There's no pressure all the time of, yep, you got to go, go, go or anything. Yep. So. That's awesome. Yep. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I, uh, I've enjoyed walking around and learning more about this truck. I've, I've looked at pleasure. the truck several times, and, and until walking around talking to you about it, there were some pieces that I was looking at that I never even realized right. until you start bringing them up. Right? Just, just a few things that drives a guy crazy that he's had his whole life. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Um, if I was ever, you know, out on the open road, like, I, I pass something like this or get passed by this truck. I'm totally jealous because that 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 sleeper is just the bee's knees. The yeah. thing is awesome. Yeah, I don't want to spend a night on the road without it. If, if I'm going to be on the road, that's the way I want to do it after all these years. It would it would spoil you. I, I could never. If I had that, I would never go back. No, no, you don't want to. I guarantee you that. <laughs> well, guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Hope you like uh, you know the the tour of. Uh, I don't know, man. This is like this is like the. The camper Peter built. It's got everything you could ever want in it. Uh, that's what I tell everybody. It's just a 10 foot camper and it ain't quite 10 foot. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you guys want to see more videos, hit the little bell, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, we've got a truck show coming up August 5th and 6th. So make sure you're there. Who knows? Maybe, Who knows? maybe you might make it to Crossville never know. and uh, come out of the show. There's a lot of guys this weekend that are, that are coming. So it'll. Uh, be cool to see you there never know you never know never you know. might see it i'm gonna try to talk him into it but uh otherwise <laughs> we'll see you guys in another video have a great day